welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to reskin a robin. Sounds a bit painful, doesn't it? So the first thing we're going to need here is, if you've got Windows 10, to leap into our 3D editor in here, Windows uh, 3D Paint. Go down through X Plane 11 into Aeroplanes into the particular one you'd like to modify, and just open up that folder. Now, many of these folders will have a white one, which is just there for you to play with. But if you can't find a, a white uh, blank skin already waiting for you, what you can do is just grab one of the ones that's already there and uh, copy it, rename it into something that you'll remember, and then we just open it up. And as you can see, there's a, a few different ones sitting inside this folder for the Robin, which we're going to play with today. So here I'm just rename copied it and renamed the original folder so once we've got that all sorted out then the next thing is to go back into 3d paint and then open up the uh the skin that you're going to modify from within there and this is just super super simple and it's but it's not uh, let's say it's it's not fantastic, but if you just want to have a bit of a change, and I like to have a bit of a change on my aircraft now and again, uh, it's a very, very quick way to do it. And if you've never done it before, this is a good place to start before you might go off to some of the other places to do some editing. So as you can see, the dark areas here are unaffected by anything that you do. So you can see I'm, I've downloaded a... Um, just a dazzle texture. I've just downloaded a tile from, from the net. And if you've seen some of my other videos, I've got blue camo and I've got green camo and all sorts on a couple of the robins because I, I just happen to like the robin. Now, the thing that's really crucial here is remembering when you scale it that you are able to match it, match the pattern if you have a pattern. Now, if you want to go out and get a bright red metallic or you want to get a blue or a pink or a rainbow or something, although rainbow could be a little bit difficult matching because um, you want to be able to put this together so it doesn't look like it's uh, it's stuck together, it's been patched work together as I'm doing here. Obviously, if you stretch this out, then the pattern becomes stretched. So you've got to be comfortable with the level of the, uh, the stretch of the material. So you can zoom in a little bit as I'm doing here and just... I've already copied it, so you can copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste and fill it up uh, over the whole thing. You can stretch a little bit and people probably might notice you've done it, just like I'm doing here. So I'm just stretching it out a little bit, but I'm looking to make sure that the lines all meet up. So it doesn't, you don't end up with a straight edge there or something that's obviously been copied. And also, if you want to put your name or you want to put some uh, ID numbers in here, you might want to make a note of where that is on the screen too, because once I'm finished, it's a bit hard to see where the, the aircraft is. But you'll see how effective this works out uh, in just a few minutes. So hang around to the end so that you can see the actual results, because it won't take us very long. So we'll keep moving this down and just matching up the tiles. Now, with this, you can, if you want to, um, grab some uh, fonts and give yourself a uh, registration number. Um, you'll notice a couple of mine. I've got the VH Let's Fly VFR uh, on the wings and stuff just for a bit of fun. Do you have to be careful where you put it over though? So you do have to match it. All these little other objects around here is, will have their own textures. So you might find that you need to come back and retexture other bits and pieces. So we'll do this side of the fuselage and get that all sorted out. And you can see that I'm not too bothered about trying to make it match the shape because it makes absolutely no difference, guys. That's why it's so easy, you know, it's so simple to do. If you wanted to start with smaller blocks or a different shape for some reason, if that suited you, and just a color, then you could do that. You could just repaint this whole aircraft in another color if you wanted, and that would be also perfectly fine. So just being a little bit careful here not to uh, to touch some of the other objects that are within the uh, the border here. So if it's if it's not black, and I put this over it, it's going to affect the colour of it, and I'll get dazzle on places maybe where I don't want it. So now here we've just got a little bit left. So because it's such a small area, and you're probably not going to stare at it, I'm just having a look to see how I can best get it. And you could actually rotate this a little bit as well, and then if you can make it match, okay. 
I didn't like that, so I'm going to go back and try again with another piece. So I'm just coming up to the top and just going to work my way in there. Just pull it back a little bit, take a little time. So we've got that side all done. And we've got a top we need to do. So we've got side, two sides, a top, a bottom of the aircraft. And the same with all the flight surfaces, your wings and your tail and everything. So we've got our vertical tail and rudder already done. This is the top of the aircraft, so I'm just quickly doing this and making sure that I get all the um, the, the, the borders of the canopy there. They're all covered. We're going, you are kidding me, this is not going to work. Yeah, hang around. You'll have a look very soon and you'll see what it is and then you can be as creative as you like. If you do decide to do some of this, guys, and get a little bit more creative than I've been, feel free to come post your pictures in uh, Gunny's Let's Fly VFR um, Facebook page. We'd love to hear from you down there. It's a bit of a lonely place. Come and say hello. I don't even mind if you drop your videos in there, guys. If you have another channel and you're just starting out like I am, um, you're welcome to come and drop them in there. Now, here we go under the wings. So I've jumped through doing repeating myself. So we're going to do the bottom, top and bottom of the wing now. So the lighter ones, the top two and that one there uh, of the tail is the top. So we're going to dazzle the tops as well. And then we'll go ahead and, and put a bit of, I think, sky blue or something underneath it. Yeah. So we'll be, uh, I have just a bit of a change of color. We'll just show you how simple it is to do. Remember, it's just copy and paste. Put that one down, stretch it out over the ends. Now that goes over a light as well, but that light is a lens, so there's a light within it. So having that go over the top of it uh, has no effect at all. So I'm just going to make sure I don't miss that little edge. Just looking for the lines to line up, as you can see. And as you click off, it becomes post. Now if you make a mistake, as always, within Windows, Control Z can take you back. Control Z, Control Z, and you can go back uh, step by step if you need to, if you realize that you've done something wrong. Failing that, you just delete the folder and, and start all over again. As much of a pain that might be, but you can do that. So just stretch that one a little bit. Now that wing's already done, and I've gone ahead and done the bottom already. And let's go over and just do the top of the, the elevator. It's a really quick little job, couple of squares on there and it'll be all done. And just going to match up those squares once again. And this is, uh, you know, this is all pretty much real time. I have jumped so you don't have to watch me doing the same job twice. Although the, I guess it's essentially the same, isn't it? You're watching me do it three times. But let's get it done. And we're, we're not far away from jumping in and having a quick look at the aeroplane itself. So be patient. Sip your coffee, your cup of tea, whatever it might be, your flavour of the day or the evening. And remember, if you're, uh, please, if you're new here and you like what you see and you like, have a look around the, the web, the YouTube channel. Have a look and see if there's other things in there. Lots of tutorials. I am a real world pilot, so I've got a few flying tutorials in there just from a general point of view. I am not a CFI, so I won't claim to be uh, that proficient. But what I do do is I have um, uh, a group of videos that I like to use as references for my own personal use, and I link uh, link those that CFI and her videos in the description for you, so you can go off and you can just confirm that whatever I've said is at least reasonably accurate. But as always, disclaimer: if you're going out to do some real world flying, go see your CFI and ignore everything I've just said. But if you're just flying an X-Plane 11 or in any other sim, feel free to have a go at what I've said. So you can see this matching. You don't really see much of a line or a join in this, but it's pretty quick to do. So we just go through. Now I could have stretched the squares out a little bit more probably as well, and that would have been a little bit faster. So let's hurry up and finish this off. Control V to copy. And control V to paste. So control, just go and control P there. Control V, sorry, and just popping them down. It just keeps appearing at the same spot. So it could be a pair of jeans, couldn't it? 
this blue color. If you're new to searching around, there are some other really great channels. I like to give them a, a plug as well as some great ones. If you like uh, a whole range of different sims other than just X-Plane 11, you can always go over and see Oz Flight Simmer. He does a lot of reviews on X-Plane 11, P3D, uh, 3 and 4, and lots of other things. And if you want a really good chuckle and uh, someone who's not quite so serious about everything, Crash Lobby does a lot of great videos on all sorts, uh, DCS, X-Plane 11, and a whole range of things. So, yeah, if you want a bit of a chuckle and a laugh, go have a look at his channel and give him a few million likes and subscribes. Okay, so we do the same here on the bottom. We're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. Hang with me. We'll be there in a second. I'm being a little lazy, just stretching this one out, but I'm sure you'll never know the difference. And here we are. In all its glory, we're going to have Dazzle. How's that looking, eh? As you can see, it hasn't affected the glass, hasn't affected anything else in the aeroplane. And also, this is, uh, just as a side note, is 4K. It's recorded at 4K with the DSR anyway, the, the uh, dynamic super resolution from NVIDIA. I've got to tell you, I think it is awesome. If you haven't played with it and you've got an NVIDIA card, have a look. My little baby 1050 Ti doesn't seem to have too much of a problem with uh, with running it and I am not running any anti-aliasing I don't think at the moment so this is really good you can do this if you saw my low level flight recently on in the uh, in the jet around the Mac loop in Wales there's a couple little details there I repainted that to the camo that you see in that particular video and I'll probably link that up a on top somewhere or at the end for you so if you want to go and have a look but I also did a couple of other things and that's added some red into the tail of the back of the engine the components that you normally see there I think the, uh, from memory they're called the cans anyway they should normally have a little bit of a glow and your turbine should have a little bit of a glow in there and they didn't have anything so I just added a couple of red circles in there and uh, it looks a lot better from behind so and if you notice it does shine can you see the shine on there you can see a little bit of shine up around the front cowling just behind the prop there at the moment and as I rotate back so you know this is a high definition a high quality little texture that we've put on here and you can just see the blue at the bottom I hope you enjoyed that video on how to go about reskinning your favorite airplane if you enjoyed the video feel free to like subscribe and comment and feel free to bring your pictures over to the let's fly VFR Facebook page. Show us what you've been up to. Catch you in the next video, guys. Have a great day.